Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, stole the show on Saturday when she arrived for the ladies' singles finals at Wimbledon 2022 after being forced to miss Friday's men's semi-final. This is the second time the tennis-loving royal, 40, has attended the tournament. She was previously joined by Prince William at the All England Club on Wednesday for the quarter-finals. She was scheduled to watch Cam Norrie's semi-final defeat to Novak Djokovic on Friday, but was forced to give up her seat as she did not want to miss Prince George and Princess Charlotte's last day at school. The Duchess arrived at Wimbledon today to watch the women's singles finals, where Onis Jaber faces Elena Rybakina. The Royal brought sunshine to the historic sporting tournament as she wore a bright yellow dress. Thrifty Catherine wore a custom-made Roque Sandra dress she first wore when she arrived in Jamaica during her Caribbean tour in March. It features a wrapped top and a billowing skirt with short sleeves. Meanwhile, Catherine accessorised her dress with a pair of sky-high white stiletto heels. Her long brown locks were swept back from her face as she arrived thanks to her bouncy blow-dry. She kept her accessories simple, letting her dress do the talking, sporting a pair of kiki citrine drop earrings. Catherine was also spotted giving a touching nod to the Queen as she wore a green and purple bow tie. It is a symbol of royal patronage, gifted to her by the Queen. As fans of the Royals and tennis will know, the Duchess of Cambridge took over the role of patron of the All England Lawn Tennis Club from the Queen. As a result, the green and purple bow is worn by members of the Committee of Management during the fortnight. Today, Catherine came to watch the women's singles finals, which saw Onus Joba, who is African, Arab and a Muslim, three significantly underrepresented demographics in tennis, and Russian-born Elena Rebekina, who is playing here under the flag of Kazakhstan. Take to centre court. As she arrived, the Duchess appeared excited as she met some of the special guests as well as those working behind the scenes to hand out the championships. Among them were Raquel Williams, guest service host and Dave Tullock, estate management support services, who were chosen ahead of the meet and greet for going above and beyond in delivering great guest experience. Catherine told them, what an amazing event to be part of. She was also introduced to 13-year-old Gabia Sakavai-Kaichui, who was nominated by Jigsaw for You for her care of her family and neighbours during the pandemic, as well as Edward Roberts, who designed the Queen's Platinum Jubilee emblem. Gabia later said the Duchess had been really sweet and a kind person. She added, I'm surprised what a normal chat it was. The Duchess also appeared particularly excited as she spotted Hingus in the royal box and greeted her with a beaming grin. The Swiss player, who won the Wimbledon women's singles in 1997, is around the same age as Catherine and the two chatted animatedly ahead of the match. While it is not known if the two women are friends, Catherine is an avid tennis fan and is a frequent fixture at Wimbledon in her role as patron of the All England Club. Watching today's match, the Duchess couldn't contain her emotions as she watched Tunisian third seed Onis Shaba and Russian-born Elena Rabekina go head-to-head -head in a historic women's finals. During the first set, the royal mother of three appeared swept away in the spirit of the day and was seen gasping, cheering and even hiding her face as she watched the match begin. Catherine became the royal patron of Wimbledon in 2016, when she replaced no less than the Queen in the role. Before taking on the role, she was already a massive tennis fan. In 2017, during an appearance on a BBC documentary, Sue Barker, Our Wimbledon, Catherine shared a mortifying moment at the All England Club with her father and a former British great. She said Sue... My father is not going to appreciate this, but we were walking past Tim Henman and we had just seen Sampras play. My dad said very coolly, Hi Pete. I was mortified. I had watched Wimbledon, that was very much part of my growing up. It's such a quintessential part of the English summer and I think it really inspires youngsters. Myself, it inspired me when I was younger to get involved in the game. It hasn't changed either. I think that's what's so wonderful. 
Luckily, Catherine wasn't too embarrassed as last year it was her dad who accompanied her to the final day of the tournament where they were both seen taking part in a Mexican wave.